2015, I was preparing for the SEA Games when I happened to injure myself during a competition a few weeks before the SEA Games. I came back to see the doctor and he told me that I tore a tendon in my knee and he advised me not to take part in the SEA Games. Because it was my first SEA Games and it was in home ground, I felt that it was really wasted that I couldn't take part. I was thankful to have friends and family that motivated me. At that time, I was quite down, but they told me like this is not the end for me, so I continued to believe in them. I think badminton chose me I started when my parents brought me to play with them when I was about 8 years old. So slowly I found that badminton was actually quite interesting and quite fun. My mom told me that when I was young, I had a lot of drive in me. I wanted to train every day when like, my friends would want to rest. She would find me always talking about badminton or always looking at badminton. I think badminton is like sort of in me now. There's always this adrenaline that I have that make me like this sport so much. My mom encouraged me to just pursue my sport and not worry on, about my studies. Not many parents in Singapore are willing to send their kids to do sports on a full-time basis. So I'm very thankful that my parents believe in me. There will be people that will question me on why I stopped studying. But I always tell them, if I want to do well, I have to go 100% and to make sacrifices that not many people will make. I think that are sacrifices that have to be made if you want to go far and to give your best shot. Sometimes my friends will ask me, you play so much every day and you keep doing the same thing, like, won't you get bored of it? But there's always something new and something to improve yourself. I don't feel that it's daunting or something that, that gets tiring. My friends have seen like videos of me play and they be like, wow, who's that person? <laughs> yeah, because I'm quite different um, when I, I go out with them. Many people will know me to be quite soft-spoken. On court, it's quite opposite because I'm quite competitive. Since I was young, I've always had many injuries, so it, it forces me to sometimes doubt myself whether like my body is meant to do sports or am I not meant for it. I used to cry and be really sad but I think all this teaches me how to be stronger, how to be more resilient, to believe that everything that happens in my life like there will be a purpose for it. I don't regret taking this path. I just hope that my strength in badminton would help inspire people as well. My goal for this coming SEA Games is to give my best shot that I have and hopefully get a gold medal. I feel very excited to take part in the SEA Games. Previously, all the things that I've gone through, I think there will be a day that it will be of good use. I will see that the struggles that I've gone through and all the things that I've persevered on will help me in the future. I don't know when it will be, but I'll just give my best for every competition. I'm ready for KL. Come back me up.